Hey guys, good morning. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Rinske Dauna. Yes, I'm still Rinske Dauna. New hair and this is my art channel. Today I found my love back for Van Dyke Brown. If you follow me for a couple of years, you know that in the beginning of my pouring YouTube journey, I use Van Dyke Brown in almost every single pour because it creates such a beautiful hue with different colors and some contrast. I totally forgot about this color, but my love is back. Definitely go check out this pour because this color combination is amazing. I've never used it. I'm loving it and I'm gonna make a couple of these paintings. When something is working, you know, I'm getting the flow. Also, in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna share art hacks. In the end of this video, I will show you an art hack that is amazing so you can see if your painting has enough contrast and how you see the composition in a different way and determine if your painting is great. Because sometimes we work so hard on a painting and we can't decide anymore if you're liking it. Does that ring a bell? I don't know. Maybe it's only me. Well, let's get started with this painting. All right, guys, so let's start with the warm gray base. It's a color by Amsterdam. And I think it's beautiful. This would be so beautiful on a white wall. All right, let's start with that. Okay, so, and I would be looking for a very soft look to go on this. I really hope that uh, that happens and works out. You know, I love to touch the paint with my hands. And if you're into pouring, then you probably do too. Oh, you need to have a lot of gloves. Okay, so. Let's see what my plan is. I do have some Van Dyke Brown because I think that will be the only color of contrast I'll be using. Yeah, I even was thinking to use yellow in this. I don't know if that's a great decision, but I want to see that. And uh, some Venetian rose. Maybe some gold, but also, yeah, will that, you know, the yellow and gold. Will that work with this base? I don't know. I don't know, but I want to try that out. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. And I'm gonna do a stripe this time. You know, just a little bit of white maybe. Just a little bit. like brown and then some gold all right so uh, <laughs> I will be taking that off oh but that does look kind of beautiful there with the gold so that's good all right so a lot of color there a lot of metallic color i mean uh, and i even thought you know the <laughs> the gold is not working with this color so yeah let's see what will happen here hey Okay, I'm gonna start blowing it out from here. Alright. Okay, this here, these colors are beautiful together. <gasps> I really love that. Um, 
here that's so so pretty okay 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 i'm getting excited Beautiful, these colors together. Oh, wow. It's super minimal, guys, but this is so, so neat. This is so neat. <laughs> I love this much better than I imagined. And I love that I spilled there that much gold because that's pretty. I, I, I love this. There's a clear line with cells like that. Super minimal, so clean. I will bring you up for a close-up because this is gonna dry like this. I'm gonna leave this. I love it. So it's now three days later and it's still wet. You see that here. Here it's dry, but in the middle it's still a little bit wet. I'm loving this gold part here. The cells are so defined. And then the contrast of the Van Dyke brown against the soft yellow and the pink with the warm gray base, it's just gorgeous. Wouter thinks it's a caramel color. Uh, I do think it's more a warm gray color. But so when you're in doubt about your painting and the composition and the contrast, I make a picture of my artwork like this and then add a black and white filter to it. So let's put this in black and white. And now we're seeing it has a lot of contrast and I'm really, really liking the, the composition here. But if you're not using any negative space, then sometimes it's hard to see with the colors. And while you're busy with it, sometimes we, we can't see it clearly anymore. So this is just a little trick to look at your painting in a different way in the black and white. But let's put the colors back because I can stare at this for hours. I will make a triptych on this painting. Yeah, beautiful. All right, I hope you love it as much as I do. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>